Harish. Um, so you got a couple of questions here. Let me let me get to the first one first. You said, would an if else statement work after the first part of the list matching? Um, yeah, I mean that's the basic idea. Um, let's see what you want to do is yeah you would have an if statement here you don't need an else part right so the way to think about it is there's two conditions either you found a match or you didn't if you found a match then that case is going to be taken care of inside your for loop right for every match you find you're going to print it out but if you don't find a match that's when you want to uh, do something special after the for loop so then an if statement would be appropriate there okay um, and then you had a question about boolean no match equals true. So you're right. The statement as you have written, you would need to um, have a, a, a boolean class. Um, but when you saw when you when you see me when you see something that I'm showing that compiles successfully the way I'm showing it. That should be a red flag that that um, you should be attending more carefully to exactly what I'm writing here. So notice um, this boolean here, um, the way this is written. If you actually, if you look in the book, in uh, section 3.7, it talks about primitive types and object types. Okay, and they mention that there are primitive types in boolean, char, double, and long are the most common of primitive types. Um, and primitive types, um, let's see, did I even tell you here? Well, uh, one way you can distinguish between primitive types and object types, so for example, string is an object type, okay? is that the object types start with a capital letter okay and the um, primitive types do not so there are object types um, there is an object type boolean um, that's in uh, java.lang uh, and actually, yeah, I don't know if you need to import anything special for that. Um, let's just try it. If I said uh, a capital B Boolean, Boolean of R, let me compile that. Yeah, because Boolean is part of. Uh, is in the java.lang package. So you don't even need to import anything for this. Like, can you set it equal to true? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. So you, you could use um, uppercase B, the object uh, class here. But um, the one I have written, and you can see um, that the one I have written is in red, and this one's not. So the one I have written is with a lowercase b, boolean with a lowercase b. So this was the primitive type. Um, and this is the one I recommend you use for now. Um, like I said, there's, there's, um, you know, there's a boolean, there's an integer, there's a double. These are special wrapper classes that we probably won't even get to in this class. You don't, I mean, you can, you can read more about them by just, you know, Googling Java integer, Java double, and, and looking them up if you're interested. But, um, I don't think we'll need those in this class. Um, so yeah, so the the boolean I'm suggesting is the one with lowercase b, the primitive type. Um, and I think that was all your questions. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. So so that's and and. Um, it's good that you notice that, yeah, when, when classes start with an uppercase, it's generally some, uh, it, it means it's, it's a class name. And also, one thing to remember also, too, is it's good if you always do this. You always name your classes with an uppercase letter. Um, the compiler won't enforce this. So if you, if you do it in lowercase, it'll, it'll let you do it, but um, 
it's good practice to use um, an uppercase uh, letter here. So um, if, you're, if you're writing a class, but if you're using the Boolean, if you're using the, the if you want to use a primitive type Boolean, then you put it with lowercase. Okay, so um, for so primitive types like int, boolean, char, double, all those guys, those are all lowercase. So like if you said int i equals zero, oops, or double x equals four point five three, or like that. Okay, those are um, lowercase. And you don't need these guys, right? So yeah, so I would start with this, figure out what you're going to do to set your no match inside here, and then use an if statement there.